Okay, hello everyone, it's me again. I'm just gonna do a very quick video because I wanted to open these on camera. Nothing too exciting, just a couple, three actually, iPad Pro 10.5 cases, which I've been waiting to find for a while because the case that I currently have on my iPad is the Apple Smart Cover, but it's the one that I used to have on my iPad 9.7. So it still works, the magnet works perfectly, it holds it in place, it does what it's meant to do, it works perfectly fine as a stand, but it's just too small. You can see the sides of the iPad. It looks terrible, I just don't like it, and I'm possibly gonna break the glass that's not covered. And also, it doesn't really cover the back. Although I am a fan of using the iPad without a case on, I mean, I do have a case on my phone all of the time, but my iPad, I mostly use it when I'm safe, like at home or at work, on a desk, wherever. I don't really like carry it or hold it that much, so I don't feel like there is that big of a chance of dropping it. Therefore, I'd rather use it without a case because it's much lighter and, and slimmer. But at this point, I'm just tired of having this thing that doesn't even fully cover the front and the back, it just feel, I just feel like I'm gonna scratch it. And I don't wanna buy the new smart cover that Apple made for this size iPad because I don't really like the new color range that they've done for it. So we've got one, we've got two, we've got three. He's telling me that my battery is dying, great. Well. If you never see the end to this video, you will know what happened. So let's start with the ones that I'm least excited about. So, eh, eh, eh. Oh no! This is the one that I want to open first. Because it, it is the most simple one. I just got a clear case for the back. And I'm not sure, I don't remember if I got a hard plastic one or if it's kind of like of a rubbery one. We'll find out in a second. Uh, oh yeah, it's rubbery. That's nice. So this is the first one. It actually looks very good. I like the level of details. Let's see how it looks. Oh wow! I really like it a lot. It fits like a glove. It's very thin, it's rubberized, so it makes me feel like it gives me some sort of protection if I drop it. And also, one of the reasons why I did this order on Amazon is because in the last week, I've dreamt about completely shattering the glass on my iPad twice, like twice in a week. So I felt like these dreams were telling me something, so I was like, yeah, maybe let's get a case. Too bad to don't do it open on the side, so I could still use like a smart cover with it. So now let's open this one. These two, I think they are very similar, but one of them is meant to have like more rubbery corners, just so in case you drop it, it's gonna protect it better. First case is this leathery light pink color by a company called Easyac. I like the fact that it is completely clear on the back and it fits like a glove too, making it look like you have no case on the rose gold. The level of detail is very accurate and very well made as well. There is one major issue with this case though. The front cover's magnet just isn't strong enough to hold in place when folded. It doesn't matter how many times I've tried to make it stay, it just wouldn't. It does hold with your iPad in position, although it feels very risky. The second case is this leatherish, glittery, dark rose gold finish by a company called ESR. I have to say I like this front color a lot more than the other. And the back isn't so bad either, it is a bit too dark of a pink though, so when the iPad is inside the result is a slight orangey colour, and I liked the completely natural effect that the clear gave much more. The level of details is also very accurate on this one. 
the winning point is scored by the front cover though it is crazy strong on this one and it holds perfectly even you lift your ipad up this is how they look next to each other the clear one let's call it that is a lot thinner although you can't see it that much from here and is also substantially lighter the corners on the clear case are plastic and not at all reinforced or rubberized which allows the case itself to be thinner while on the pink case they are slightly rubbery and feel very soft and safe when taking your ipad in and out of the case this is how they both look on the back and here you can actually see a little bit more the difference in thickness between one another and also how the pink case has a more gelish looks to it all around it 